So once you have printed this thing into a Adobe file, oh, I'm sorry, a PDF uh, format, uh, you can go ahead and print to our printer here, or you could take it home, print it there, whatever. Uh, the way we do it on campus is to for you to go to your file and then print, and another dialog box will pop up. You're going to have to select the correct printer. The correct printer is going to be this uh, insert instruction. All you really have to do is look for the 8 by 11. If you need to print 11 by 17, that's another printer. So each printer has its own paper size. So select the right one. This one is 11 by 8.5. Uh, we couldn't put 8.5 as part of the ID, so we just have 8 by 11. So click on this. And then um, we pretty much go down the list. Size, everything's all right. Custom scale, it's not really custom. It should just be actual size. Try to get in the habit of doing actual size, not fit. If you fit, the paper size is going to shrink, or the paper that the virtual paper in PDF is going to shrink a little bit to accommodate uh, everything being printed. If we do that, um, your the scale that you set up, quarter inch equals a foot, uh, that gets kind of tweaked a little bit. So what we want to do is always go to actual size, unless you have a reason to go to custom scale like 50%. You know, you might get it down to the eighth inch uh, scale drawings and such. You could do it through the printer. But anyways, make it a habit of going to actual size. Uh, orientation, if you just stick it to auto, it will auto rotate the paper, so it should be fine. Um, there are advanced settings on here about the paper and the color and all that stuff, but I don't think we really need to mess with it. Uh, one thing that, that we can mess with is this. When you say print in grayscale, black and white, uh, it's gonna, well, let me tell you, our printer will charge you. I think it was about 10 cents for sheet uh, for, the, for the ink saving stuff and then like 15 cents, I'll reconfirm that, but um, it will charge you. Every time you hit send, it's gonna charge you. If you don't think something's coming out, don't just keep sending in, hit, don't keep hitting send or print because basically it's just taking away your your funds that you have in your Arc Lab account. Okay. If you are check printing, you know you just want to see what the thing looks like and not worried about line weights or anything. Yeah, go ahead and go go to the print and grayscale, and you should be fine. If it was more for presentation stuff, you want to get a clean, crisp drawing. So you'll keep that unchecked. Um, page setup, that's about the paper size and all that. I don't think we could mess, or I don't think you should be messing with that because that should already be taken care of in the printer that you selected. So once all of these is set, the only thing you, only thing you need to hit is print and it should go over and print on the machine. So this is one print. You are going to try to do this with all of the others. So they should all be the same scale because we've made the papers all the same scale. Okay. It is possible at a later time we want something that is a eighth, eighth in scale, which means that this, it should be half the size of this floor plan, right? So if we go, simple way to do it, and copy this over. We don't have to do this right now, but if we change this paper size, so if I scale this guy by factor of two, double the size, by logic, when we print this thing out at a quarter inch, since the paper is eight and a half by 11 and print this to a quarter inch, this thing should look half the size of this, right? So this will be a, uh, this will be a eighth inch scale project. 
or eighth inch scale printout. And we'll, and we'll do this some other way as well. Likewise, if I want to make this a half inch scale, print this. Half inch scale means that it should look double the size of this. So since I have this paper, if I say cop or scale, from there, and I say 0.5, that would be half, which means that at, a, at the scale, it does not fit our drawing, so maybe that's not the scale to use. Half inch is not the scale to use, okay? But again, we'll cover this a lot more in depth a little bit later. For now, I want you to print all these things in a um, quarter inch to a foot scale.